Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to uh, share and backup your GIS data in ArcGIS. So let's get started. So now we have our vector data that is, our, that is my study area. So now let me add my raster data into ArcGIS. Go to the option called add, add data. Now let me select my shape file. Now let me select the raster file. Let me click this and add. So now we have our vector data as well as our raster data. So this is a supervised classified uh, raster data and this is a vector data that is my study area. Now how to backup and share this data in ArcGIS. So now let me show you that. So now go to the option called files. Now click map properties, map document properties. Click that. Now let me type my title for this backup name. So now I have entered the title as study area and ADLC backup. And summary, it is study area and ADLC raster. Description, the layer name is ADLC and study area. And author, we have given the author name and credits and tags. So you can also provide your uh, hyperlink here in this section. So I have chosen uh, this, uh, make sure that you don't, uh, so make sure that you don't leave it empty. Make sure they give some name. So I have given as LULC and study area. Suppose you have, if you have your hyperlink, you can also paste it here. If you don't, make sure that you give some name. So after that, make sure that you click OK. So now let us uh, back up our GIS data and share it. So go to the file section and again, go to the option called share as select map package. So now go to the option called item description. So now let me, uh, so now make sure that you, uh, you fill this section. Now let me fill this section. So please make sure that you don't leave the section empty and make sure that you click update missing metadata document based on item description. Now, now, now let me click this option. So next, go to the section called additional files. So suppose if you want to add additional files, you can also choose your additional file and add it into your map package. So now let me uh, go back to the map package section. So now make sure that you click analysis. So now we have our zero errors, zero warning and zero messages. So if you have zero errors, zero warning and messages, you can now you can now create your backup through map package option. So now make sure that you click click this option called share. So now there is an option popped up saying this map document has changed and needs to be saved before creating a map package. Could you like, could you like to save the document and create a map package? Yes. So now let me save my MXT. So now I have saved my MXT. Now let me save this. So now our, uh, we are backupping over. So files being backup now. So we have successfully created a map package. So in this way, you can able to backup your GIS data and you can share this GIS data to other colleagues of your institute or your workplace. So make sure that this particular path is, uh, this is a particular path wherever map package backup is available. Now let me show you that path. Now, now click me OK. Now let me click OK. So now go to the file manager option. Now click find file manager. So now go to your C drive section and go to the user and go to your username and go to the option called documents. So now you can uh, able to see the RGIS document folder here. So this is the RGIS folder. Click this. So now your uh, map package is available here. So now let me close this. So I will close this. So I'll close the, our RGIS. Now let me open our backup uh, GIS data. That is our MDLC and study area backup. Click this option. So it is opening our backup to GIS data. So now you can clearly able to view that our backup data has been 
open now so this is how you can able to uh, back up your gis data and share your data to others so in this way you can efficiently uh, back up your gis and share your data so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like